Hello my viewers and welcome to this exciting lesson in Autodesk Advanced Steel. In this lesson, I want to teach you the tools that you can use to copy any kind of a connection in Advanced Steel. You know, there are a number of tools in Advanced Steel, some of them which you can, you are able to group the connections so that once you change one connection, all the connections are going to change. And I'll show you all the three methods that are there. Now we are going to use a base plate as an example, and, but this one will apply to any kind of a connection. So you see that we don't have the base plate here. We are going to create a base plate. So of course, you also learn on how to create a base plate in advanced tool, and I'll show you on how you can copy it on the others using different tools. Now, if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please, make sure that you like my video and subscribe to this channel okay so without wasting time let's get started in this tutorial so before i proceed i just want to ask anyone who is interested in learning different softwares in a course from start to finish make sure that you check the links in the description there's some good courses you know for civil and structural engineers and also architects that you might be interested in so check the links in the description now this is the model that we are using and if you want to learn how to create this model. This is the one that we use when we are learning on how to you know, exchange the model between Revit and Advanced Team. So check the card above there. You know how to, you know, to create this model and also know how to exchange the model between Revit and Advanced Team. So I'll get started by test of all creating you know, the base plate in Advanced Team. Now, in advanced team you can create you know these connections by going to the connection board as you can see from here now these two are floating here if i go under the home tab there and i just click on the you know the connection board you see that that one will disappear it's right there if i just close it then i click on the connection board it will come up then i can just attach it there that same also goes this also goes for the we have the connection post and the advanced steel to pellet if i just click there it disappears i click once again it comes there and i can just attach it there so that if i move it i'm able to place it anywhere okay so the base plate connection that we are going to create is just an example any connection that you, are, you can create here is able you are able to copy it using the tools that i'm going to show you but uh, also want to teach you how to create a base plate as an example so i'll go under the connection board you still have it right there then click the plus sign there you see that we have different kind of connection fortunately enough the first one is the base plate but you can see that we have a number of them now if you want to you know to have some videos on how i can teach you on creating this different type of connection please make sure that you comment down there that you want to learn on how to create these connections but we see that the first one is the base plate and if i just move the case there inside there or maybe let me even drag this one up by just moving the case there okay let me first of all move it here and i'm able to drag this one like that from the corner it will even show you you know the kind of you know connection that you can create from here on the round column this one this one and it gives you instructions here okay so i'll just click there to close that one i don't need it so to create a base plate you know that connection just click there you can see that it also give you instructions there all you need to do is select the column so i can simply select that column then do you want to select the additional concrete object if there's concrete there you can select but i don't want just click on no and wait for it you can see that in a matter of seconds i have the connection there okay now if you want you can start going to the base plate there and start changing all these but the focus for this lesson is for you to see how you can copy using the different tools on how you can copy connections using different tools okay so i'm just showing you that these are the options that you can change to configure your connection according to the design but in this one under the uh these are the properties under the library of course we have different connection that you can pick from okay so it does pick that connection but if i want to start changing i can do that so you can see that from the library you have these with configured connections but i'll just maintain what i have let me first of all just check the properties here you can see that that is the plate thickness this is the set out and i'll leave it the way it is and simply close this one you see that the connection is right there now 
The focus of this lesson, as I've said, is to copy connections. So assuming that you've created any kind of connection and the model is quite big and you want to copy to different positions, okay? There are two options. You can copy this connection and they will be independent, meaning that once you change this connection, the others will not change. And that is the first way to start with. So here we see that we have advanced to palette, which is right there. If I just expand it, you see that we have about three tools. Joint copy, we have the other one, which is joint copy multiple. And the other one is called create joint in a joint group. We also have these ones called the create joint in a joint group. Of course, if you create connections which are not in a group, you can group them. But we'll look at the first three. So I'll start with the first one, this one, which is just a joint copy where you have to copy these connections one by one. So any kind of connection, as I've mentioned, and this base plate is just an example. So I'll just pick on that and select connection, but make sure that you go inside you know, this joint box and make sure that you pick any part there, then you right click. Then it will ask you to select the column, select on it, then just click on no, since we don't have a column, you know, a concrete and the connection is there. It also tells you that you can go to the next one, pick the column, click no. So you see that it's equally fast, pick the column, say no. So that is how you're going to copy the con all the connections in advanced steel. Click there, click on no. Then if you are done, just right click and you see that you have the connection. But the challenge with this one is that if I just double click, oh sorry, you have to, 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 to edit a connection, make sure that you double click the box there. If I just double click the, boy, bo the box and I say maybe I want to change, you know, uh, I want to edit this connection, maybe I want to change the, you know, the properties there, Let me wait for it. And I just want to pick this one. I'm just picking from the library. I'm not going to the actual, you know, different parameters there. I just want to use the library. If I just pick this one, you see that it changes as an example. Then if you go to the other connections, you see that they are in that they have been changed. So that is the challenge with this one. So it means that all the connections are independent. Now I want to show you a different method. I'll just undo from my keyboard, okay? So that you see, I'm just doing Control Z from my keyboard until I undo all of them. So as you can see from here, all right, so we only have one. So let's see a different method of copying, which is this one. This one is not going to group, but it's a fast way of copying connection because we don't have to be doing one by one. So once I select on that one, joint copy multiple or select on it, then select a part within there and right click. This one, you are able to select all the object at once, okay? So I can just first of all select all the columns, okay, just like that. You can even do a window selection, you are able to select them. Then once you select all those objects, then right click. You see that automatically all the connections are there. But even with this one, these connections are not in a group, but it will help you to quickly copy those connections. You can imagine just picking that one, then pick all the columns, okay? In this case, because the base place connection, and then just right click and see that you have the connections, okay? So let me show the other method. Of course, if I went just double click on that joint box, and I just want to change something there, we see if all will change. Okay, this time let me go there and change maybe what do i want to change let me go to the okay i'll still go to to the library and just pick a different connection maybe this one here you see that only this one again will change as you can see from here the other ones will remain the way they are okay it will accelerate the copying of the connections but they are not in a group so we are going to do the last one which will help us to you know, to, 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 create, to copy, but those connections are going to be in a group so that when you change one, all the others will change. So I've, I was just undoing by just holding Control and Z, so I'm just remaining with one. Then that is the one which is called the Create Joint in a Joint Group. Select on it. Then select that, you know, part within that box there and right click. Then select the column. I'll select that one. Then I'll click on no, you see that you have that one, but this one, you can do it but one by one, but all these are being created in a group, okay? As you can see, just click there and click on no, then right click to end the command. 
so these are in a group if i just double click on this one and just change one i'll go to the library i just want to pick one quickly because we're just testing on how you can use you know, you can copy the connection so you see that that one has changed if i got all the others they have changed so depending on what you are doing you can decide on which tool to use here okay if your intention is to make sure that once you change one or the other will change then you have to use this one if your intention is to just copy them you know quickly without picking one by one then you can use this one otherwise these ones are not going to group anything so guys this is what i wanted to show you this method applies to any kind of connection that's the one you are going to copy a connection it will be very very fast you just need to create one connection and copy and the process is quite fast so see you in some upcoming tutorials